All right, I wanted to go over how to make a presentation of a model. It seems like some students are having a hard time understanding how to do screen grabs or quality screen grabs of their models. And so I just thought I'd go over this. So uh, first thing you want is a gray shaded uh, view. And then we want a wire shaded view as well. So if you're using uh, Maya, then what we want to do is to have your uh, model shaded okay and then you're going to want to go into an expert mode which is control spacebar and then frame it up in a way that looks pretty good zoom in you want to get it as big as you can and then do a print screen then toggle over to photoshop Make a new file, control N. It'll automatically size itself. Okay, and as a matter of fact, let me do this. What we're going to do is uh, Alt print screen. I have three monitors, and so when I do print screen, it's grabbing all three monitors. But if you do alt print screen, it'll only grab the screen that you have active. So now let's go here, control N and then paste. Okay, then I want a wireframe of that as well. Alt tab will take me back. Uh, so if I pick it, what I want to do is to go up to this button right here, wire shade on gray like this and uh, Maya defaults to a blue uh, for its wireframe professionally what we like is black so if you go to your display wireframe color change this from index to RGB it'll, it'll go to black apply that deselect and you'll have a black wireframe on there so now I'm doing alt print screen and it's going to give me the same exact shot as what I had before. And so I'm doing alt tab to go over back to Photoshop, control V, paste it right back on top. So now I can uh, reframe this up to get another shot that I might like. Let's go maybe showing the back side of it maybe a little bit, something maybe, or maybe a side shot, something like this. We could do that. Okay, so Alt Print Screen, Alt Tab, Control V to paste, and then I want one without the wireframe. Okay, Alt Print Screen, Alt Tab, Print, go back. Let's get one that's maybe three quarter view from the back. Okay, by the way, it's Alt right mouse button to control your zoom. So maybe something like that. Uh, Alt print screen, Alt tab, Control V paste. Go back over, turn the wireframe, Alt print, paste. And then let's get uh, one other one. Let's get another one, say, let's get one that's maybe from the top. Okay, we can get one from the top. Actually, I want it a little bit more like maybe that. Zoom in on that a little bit. Okay, let's go with that. And then the wire. Okay, so now I have a bunch of different selections of ways to show it over here. So what we're going to do is... I don't want to see all this interface, and I see people showing me all this interface. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this gray color, and then my background, Alt-Delete, I'm going to fill with that. And now what I can do is each one of these is I select this area, and I can do a mask on that. And I don't want that little piece too, so... Alt delete. Okay. And then, by the way, what I can do is control and click on this icon and it will select the same area again on that one. 
So I can mask that. So on this one, maybe there. Alt to take away a little bit. I don't want any more than I need to have. So there's our mask on that. And then hold down the control key, click this icon, and then a mask on that one. Okay, let's look at this. So let's select that one. Okay. Mask. Hold down the control key. Select this icon. Mask. And let's go for this one last one on the top. Okay, put a mask on that. Control key, icon, this one, a mask on that. Okay, so now I've got all these masks out and I can start arranging them. Now I think what I'm going to do is give me some excess um, space because it's going to be too tight. So I'm switching this gray to the background. I'm going to go to image canvas size. I'm going to anchor this one. I'm going to go percent and it's giving me 200 on my width and 200 on my height. Okay. All right, and I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to go right about here, and I'm going to put the wire, I think, underneath it. Like so. And then let's do... Let's go this three-quarter back. about there maybe something about like that I could go over a little bit on those two Okay, let's do uh, the side here. So I'll pick both of these. Slide them over. Maybe up a little bit. And that one. And then let's do the top go up maybe right about there my frame and then I need to paint out here so I go to my mask Paintbrush with black, and the brush bigger, and I can paint out. Let's change this to 100%. That nose out here, the nose out there. That looks pretty good. Okay, Control R gets me my ruler, so I'm going to pop a ruler right about here. Let's go right about there. Okay, so I'm going to crop this like this. I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to fill this. And let's fill this with the black. And then I think I'm going to turn it down. Just want it to be a little bit darker. And then I can come back and I can put my, okay, I'm going to call this dog head model. 
and I want to use just a plain font. I see that a lot of you guys use all these decorative fonts. I don't want a decorative font. Use a simple font. The font is not the focus. Uh, let's use like uh, Arial. Oh, I'm going to go Arial Bold. And I'm going to pick this gray, maybe just a hair lighter. Okay. And then I'm going to go for um, uppercase. Let's go for. Let's go for uppercase letters. And it's way too big. And make this over here on the left. And I don't need that exposed out. Okay, hold down my shift and alt, drag it to the other side. And I'm going to put my name on it. Okay, that'll be pretty good. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to put uh, labels on these uh, so they can be talked about. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put, uh, I'm going to call this, uh, you can either numbers or letters. I'm going to go A, and this is way too big. Uh, that's a little big. Well, I got 70 in here. Let's go 60. That's okay. So these should be small, very uh, unobtrusive. Okay. I'm going to hold down the Alt and the Shift key. Then I can drag her straight across so I know it's right aligned with it. So we'll go with this a B. And then go across here. I'm getting kind of the same distance like from the ear here. So this will be C and Alt Shift. Go here and we'll call this one D. Okay, I can put these in a group together and now I can hold down the Shift Alt and drag all of those down. And let's make another set here. And it looks like this guy needs to be shifted over a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so the new group, this is E, F, G, H. Okay, so let's do a tab. Let's go uh, F, and F again, F again. I can zoom in on this. And this is what a quality presentation looks like. This is how you should be presenting your work. This is screen grabs. Now later we'll want to light it to do uh, so we get more volume into it. But this is what you should be showing me. So a lot of what I see people showing me are not quality. Okay. And we want this to be quality. So something like this, my actual final size is fairly big. Okay, I got a problem right there. Let's see what's causing that problem. Let's go back to here. What's causing that? But I'll fix it. If I disable the layer mask, nope. Enable the layer mask. I'm going to bake that. Apply the layer mask. And then I'm going to hold down my Alt key and Shift and drag it over a little bit. Okay, so. Cut that off. I don't know how that happened, but 
we'll say, let's put this one underneath that one. And what I want to do is invert that, control I. Oh, it's inverted, select, uh, inverse, and delete. I don't know how I did that, but it's okay. We just got to fix it. Right there. And then merge those two together. Um, which layers? Okay, there we go. All right, so that's what I'm looking for. That's the kind of presentation you need to be giving me. Don't just slap things together, but just slop. Do nice, professional, quality presentations. Think of yourself as a professional. Go ahead and make that transition. You're not a student anymore. You're a professional. Make professional presentations. Okay, hopefully that helped you guys. Thank you very much.